What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's the Mad Cleveland Browns fan, man. And um, it's about that time. We less than 24 hours away from the biggest game of the season. And I'm sorry, Cleveland Browns fans, that it took for us to come to the last game of the season. You hear me? 10 and 5. Playing to be eleven and five against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Last game of the season. The rematch: Baker Mayfield versus Rudolph of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Miles Garrett versus Rudolph in the Pittsburgh Steelers. Rematch for the biggest game that you have ever played in before in your NFL history lifetime. Cleveland Browns fans, I hope you grabbed all your popcorn, all your wings, all your ding-dings, your chips and your dips. You grab your Bud Light and it better have the Browns all over it. I know you got it because you got it right because this is the game. That's going to change the trajectory of the Cleveland Browns franchise for the rest of its life. The duration of the Cleveland Browns lays upon us within the next 24 hours. I am on the West Coast and I call it the best coast. Right now it is 644 p.m. Las Vegas, baby. And I'm sitting here in my lonely car as I just went down the street to go and get me a smoothie from Tropical Smoothie. Yes, it tastes very good. It's the first time I tried this one. It's amazing. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm sitting here. Excuse me, that's that smoothie coming out. Excuse me. Last video I made was the other day about the kid almost had to beat up because he was wearing the wrong hoodie on the wrong day. And the wrong person seen him. And that was me, the mad Cleveland Browns fan. Almost hung him over the banister by his socks. Yes, I did. I'm proud of saying it. I thought it. A lot of you over here, you all see kids wearing some stuff. And you like you ran the wrong thing, champ. And you probably want to give him a wedgie too. But this is what's going on right now. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers coming up. They have... A few of their starters not playing on the offense or the defensive end. We're checking out right now as the COVID breakout crisis is killing the Cleveland Browns for all season. We've been going through it. Uh, injuries riddled season. It's looking bad. But we made it here to a 10-5 record after a Coronas year. During a Trump year. During a Black Lives Matter year. This is for the... Cleveland Browns fans who are afraid to be mad that we lost to the Jets because of Coronas. I am mad that it came down to this game. We were just nine and three not too long ago and I was running my mouth. I was running my chapsticks up and down the interstate freeways and all over YouTubes across the United States of America and some. And I got comments to the galoo. From Pittsburgh fans talking mess after they broke that dango three game losing streak, and I said they wasn't going to win another game, and I meant that. And then we got dango crapped it against the Jets. It's not our fault, Cleveland Baker. You take it off of your chest, you take it off your shoulders. It wasn't your fault, Baker. You shouldn't have been throwing the ball 50 times. That's what you got a team for. Teamwork makes the dream. And I'm telling you this right now, fellas and ladies and you young browns and you brownettes out there. Listen, I need you to come on and put on that brown and orange like you never put it on before. I need you to go ahead and you do all the rituals that we've been doing all before. I need you, Baker, to feel the most dangerous you ever felt before. And I want you to make sure the Pittsburgh Steelers, they feel the pain. Of what it's like to play against a hungry Cleveland Browns team. And you're walking through that tunnel with that number six on the front and the back of you, Baker Mayfield. And you're looking at the rest of the dang on Cleveland Browns sitting there and looking at you to call all the plays. And you got them. You sit there and you think. This is for all the Browns teams before us. That got this far and just couldn't get over the hump. 
This is for all of the doubters who said, yo, they're just not good enough yet. They can't beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in the division. They cannot beat the Baltimore Ravens in the division. They only can beat up on the Cincinnati Bengals. And I'm calling on the Cincinnati Bengals to go ahead and extinguish the flame of them Baltimore Ravens this weekend. And I'm telling you, in the name of the Cleveland Matt and the mad Cleveland Browns fan, I give you all the juice you going to need. Well, I'm not going to give you the juice because we got juice. Well, I'm going to give you all the sauce that you need, you Cleveland Browns, baby. I mean, you Cleveland, uh, you Cincinnati Bengals. I'm so caught up in the Ohio thing right now because my Buckeyes, they went over there and they busted some eyes yesterday, Dabo. So I'm feeling kind of mad right now that my Browns got to come down to the last game. But at the same time, I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm sitting here and I'm thinking. I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm sitting, I'm thinking. What is the game plan, Stefanski? What is the game plan? What are you drawing up for the offense, the defense, and the special teams? God dang it, Parky! 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 This is the game that can change everything you've done wrong this season with your foot and the misplacement of your kicks. This game, I need you to be lights out. Don't you miss a dang going point after. Don't you miss any field goal. I don't care if it's from the 20, the 30, the 40, the 50. I need you, Parker, to go ahead and you redeem yourself. I know you got it in you. I watched you for years. You were one of the greats. But I just know it's one thing. <clears throat> this is Phil Dawson land when it comes to kicking the football in this Cleveland weather. <sighs> We're sitting here in Cleveland at home with our own home cooking. We sitting here with our families and we're looking at this game and this game only. Don't you think about the playoffs. You just think about you mustering up all the energy from all the game gods out here. All the good game gods and all the bad game gods. Because there's a lot of them out here that they've been watching us all year. Been praying and praying and our downfall. And we made it to this game right here. Now, don't you leave it up to nobody else losing for us to get in the playoffs because that's not how we get in. We get in because we win. Not a COVID, not a Coronas, not a goddamn go. Coke 45 is going to stop us. And you seen that just happen when we went up in there in New York and we whipped a Coke 45. No, Rudolph, you about to get a rude awakening. That I am mad. And I am bringing them boys. To your front doorstep tomorrow. The Mad Cleveland Browns fan, oh yes. Me and my girl, we are gonna be sitting up here watching the game. I'm gonna be locked and loaded. I just went ahead and I put my money down on the Browns the other day, and I'm about to put some more on there tomorrow when I go to the casinos. Y'all keep y'all eyes open, you stay focused. Don't you worry. The Browns. in the background right now. <laughs> Let's go, dogs. Let's go, dogs. Let's go. Let's go, Cleveland. Playoffs, I can smell you. I can smell you, Baker. You feel dangerous. I can see it. Nick Chubb, Hunt. Hunt, this is the game, Hunt. I can smell it on your breath, Hunt. It's hunting season, Hunt. It is hunting season, Hunt. Where are my dogs at? Where are my dogs? Where are my dogs at? Let's go to last game, and y'all know it's the best game. It gets the Steelers. What's the better way to go into the playoffs? By beating your arch rivals. And all you Steelers fans that's watching this video, make sure you look into my eyes. And you remember these eyes from the mad Cleveland Browns fan. If we see you in the playoffs, it's going to be the last time you see us. <laughs>